This is the bone widget add-on. It allows you to apply a number of common bone shapes to any bone with a single click. It is a free add-on, but you can support the developer should you choose to do so. And the developer is actually planning to update this add-on in the near future. So the main goal of this video is to make you aware of this tool and to invite feedback. But I'm also going to show you how it works. Before we get into it, a quick plug for addons.cgdive.com where I organize Blender add-ons and resources in nice categories. For example, you can find the Bone Widget add-on under Rigging, Bone Widgets, with a couple of other paid and free tools. I'll actually mention Orient Bone Shapes as well later in this video, but if you want to get Bone Widgets, you can find the links in here, so you can get it on GitHub, Gumroad or Blender Market. Either way, you'll find it as a zip file, download it without unzipping it, go to Edit Preferences, Add-ons, Install, find your zip file and install it, and activate it. And the add-on will be in the M panel under Rig Tools. And by the way, if you expand the add-ons options, you can move it under another panel. So you can change the name or just move it to an existing panel, such as the Tool panel. And we'll talk about these other options in a minute. But here is how to use the add-on. So I'll enable Rigify as well. Just so I can get an interesting looking rig quickly. And as you probably know, the default way to add custom shapes to your bones is to select a bone in pose mode, go to the bone tab, viewport display, and under custom shape, you have to set a custom mesh object, which you need to model yourself. With the Bone Widget add-on, however, you can choose from any of these shape presets, click Create, and that will set the shape for you. It will create the necessary shape, it will name it properly, it will place it in a collection and hide the collection so that everything is clean. So, very nice workflow, but this shape doesn't quite fit my leg, so let's find something else, such as FK Limb and create it, and that will replace the shape. So I could then select the rest of the leg and apply the same shape by pressing the Create button. And once the shape is created, you can select it and click the Edit button. And let's say that I want this ring to be much smaller. Once I'm done with it, I can click to Bone and that will confirm the change. Now, when I clicked Edit, I could see this other shape that I applied earlier because it is still there in the widgets collection. So let's press to bone and press the delete unused widgets button, which will clean up any unused shapes from your widgets collection. If you have a symmetrical mesh, you can select the shape and choose symmetrize shape, and that will mirror the same shape on the other symmetrical bone. Keep in mind that this is based on the symmetry suffix here in the add-ons options. By default, it uses the common L and R suffixes, but if your rig is non-standard and has other suffixes, for example, left and right, then you need to change this setting. So it would look something like this. Okay, but I'm going to undo. And while we are here, let's look at these other options. Widget prefix is the prefix that will be given to the widget shape. As you can see, it is WGT dash, same as in the settings here. And the name of the collection where the widgets will be placed is WGTS. And that is why we have the WGTS collection here. And that's it for the options. Now, unfortunately, currently you cannot symmetrize multiple bones. It will only symmetrize the active one, which I think is a bug and it is being worked on. I'm going to give this bone a clavicle shape. Oh, sorry, that was the circle. Let's go for clavicle. So we have model options. We have the global size of the widget. We can slide it on the Y axis and rotate it. Something else on my wish list would be the ability to scale and move the widget on all axes, but that's okay because I can now press the edit button move the shape exactly where I want it, confirm and symmetrize. And then delete unused widgets. So that's the workflow. 
I can quickly set some shapes here. If the shapes are offset, set global size to 1 and slide to 0. Let's look at some of the other options. I can clear the bone widget if I wanted to, but I'm going to undo. Delete unused, we already saw. Much bone transformations, I actually don't understand myself, so we'll skip it. Resync widget names is important if you want to change the name of a bone. Let's say that I change this to something else. So the bone and the bone widget will have a slightly different name. But if I click Resync widget names, the widget will match the bone's name. Show collection will show and hide the widget's collection. And we can also create our own shapes. We are not limited to these predefined shapes. So I can go to object mode, create a shape. Model it, give it a name. And now if I select the shape and shift select the rig, go to pose mode, select the bone which I want to use this shape, and then press use selected object, then the bone will take this shape. Of course, it is not oriented correctly. This is a common difficulty in applying bone shapes, but with this add-on, I can press the edit button and just align the shape as I want it and apply. And also, let's say that you want to use this shape all the time. What you could do is again go to object mode, select the shape, and from this drop down menu, press add widget to library. You can give the widget a name. I'm fine with star here, so I'll press OK. And here is our new widget. And now I can select any bone and just create this widget. And I can use the model options, I can edit it, and so on. And now this shape will be part of your library. And if you don't want the shape anymore, you can remove it as well. And it will be gone. In my opinion, there is one feature that this add-on lacks. But you can get it from the Orient Bone Shapes add-on. So again, go to Rigging, Bone Widgets, and you'll find it here. I even covered it in an old tutorial. But you can download it here from GitHub. The add-on hasn't been updated in five years, but somehow it still works with Blender 4.1, which is great. So you can just go to code and download a zip file and then install it the same way. And so with this add-on, you can create a custom shape and just place it somewhere in world space and shape it exactly as you like. So I model something like this and let's say that I want to make this the shape for the shoulder bone. So I'll go to pose mode and clear this bone widget and then select the shape and move it into place like this and then shift select the rig go to pose mode select this bone that i want to apply this shape to right click and choose set and align bone shape and as you can see this bone took the exact shape of this widget that i created and that was done without worrying about positioning and orienting the bones you can watch my old tutorial to see how complicated it is but with this add-on it is just one click and once this shape is set, I can actually move it here into the widgets collection. Name it. And I'll be able to symmetrize it using the bone widgets add-on. So these two add-ons complement each other and they work very well together. So give them a try. And if you have any suggestions for bone widgets, you can go to issues and create a new issue which can be a bug report or a feature request and so on. I hope you find these bone widget add-ons useful 
And one last time, check out addons.cgdive.com if you want to discover cool Blender addons.